Hey y'all, it's Artasia Olivia here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a special treat for you guys. You guys are going to get an all exclusive tour behind the scenes of my Voyage ATL photo shoot. Y'all are going to see me getting ready and y'all even going to see the pictures that I'm sending to them for my interview. So stay tuned and enjoy the ride. First vlog, so I'm trying to prepare for a photo shoot. Gotta find an outfit to wear. Um, I'm not really gonna do dressy. If I was gonna do dressy, I was gonna do like this dress and some heels. It got like slits and it opens like that. But since we're not doing dressy, um, I was thinking about. I was thinking about maybe this windbreaker. It's pretty creative. Gives me like artsy vibes, you know. It's like 70s type. Or wait, it, are you rolling? Duh. <laughs> right, what Which, the fuck? Um. Fucking... So yeah, this may be an option. Um. I wore this on my set to Saints and Sinners. This little rumper right here. But you know how they say not to repeat outfits or whatever. I repeat my outfits. I just wash my clothes. It's called washing and drying. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to repeat the outfit. So besides this one, I literally have no idea like... I'm just now looking at my closet on what I want to wear. I don't know if I should wear a skirt or a jumpsuit. I think I have bought a couple outfits from Fashion Nova that I haven't worn. I got a couple dresses. Um, this this dress right here might be a little bit more casual, but I don't know. I feel like if I was gonna wear this dress. If I was gonna wear this dress, I wanted some like Air Force Ones and socks. I thought that would have been cute. But see, I still got the, uh, oh, and then it crops up here. Um, I still got the freaking Fashion Nova tag on it. Like I haven't worn a lot of these outfits. And I got this velvet dress, but that's way too dressed up. Um. I don't know if I want to go for skank whore because I have skank whore outfits too. What you think? Should I go for skank whore? Because I have this you like... You're going to skank whore your whole life. Try something <laughs> different. Yeah. Don't tell the people that. Um, Because I have this like short outfit. Here, let me show y'all. It's very clubby vibes. 
I think this actually might be the one. This is a photo shoot. <laughs> what? For a publication. I mean, this is real. This ain't prostitution products. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> what the fuck is she thinking? That's real cute. That show my shape really good. Um. Well, since you said we're not doing prostitute. We're not doing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me get serious, y'all. Um, so yeah, this is still a contender. Um, I do oh, I did my first magazine with this little rocker jacket, crop rocker jacket. It's pretty cute. Um, but this was my first magazine, black what is it? <laughs> black girl screenwriters. I'm sorry. But this is the one I did with that. We're not going to do that again. Because, again, the no repeating outfits. Um, I did another photo shoot with this matching set right here before skirt and this little corduroy Velcro velvet uh, two-piece set. Which I archived the pictures on my page, so this might work. But then again, I don't want to repeat an outfit, but possibly. Um, I haven't even looked in my closet. Okay, so I have this. It's a see through. This is see through. It's a sundress. And it's like Egypt. And I wear a bra underneath and it's see-through. And it goes all the way to my feet. My body looks really good in here. It um it's fitted. So possibly, I might possibly do this. Do you like the Egyptian look? It's fitted I mean, and it shows my shape. You gotta see how it's gonna look on camera for what you're trying to do. Yeah, it's a little busy. This is very busy, but um, it's really cute because it gives me that hourglass look. Um, I have some mini dresses. That's not too slutty like that leopard one, but it has the bra piece and then it has a big, um, space right there. Show a little bit of skin. Well, I feel like this is kind of cute. It's, um, I don't know, because I can't wear a bra with it. My nipples get hard, so, I don't know, I can't wear a bra with this dress. I don't know, that's the only thing. No. Because you'll see my nipples. This is for a publication. I mean, it's still a little classy, this though. This is not Magic City. It's not bad. This is not bad, but it's just that I can't wear a bra with it. So, um, I do have this jean dress, and it's short. But again, it got the sleeve giving a little bit of class. It's a short mini dress. I might can do this. It's jean, and it has a zipper here in the back. Jean dress. This could possibly work. Um, this. Or you can do both of them. No, because this has a sleeve oh. on it already. If I do this, I could wear. I do have a sleeveless sundress. Or you can wear that open. This is a sundress. With this, possibly. Or I was going to do a bandeau with this. But alright, let me finish picking out my outfit. I'll show y'all what the finished product is. Um, we didn't even look at this side of my closet. Uh, shirts and pants and skirts. This side we was looking at was just like dresses and jackets. 
so got this one dress so far this one dress so far this jacket so let me take a look at this other side and figure out what i want to wear okay bye hey so now i'm about to do my hair and my makeup so starting with my hair i like to do my hair first because i don't know it just i don't know like i can lay my edges while doing my makeup and stuff so i showed y'all this little ponytail um before i love this ponytail i usually do like a deep side part um with this ponytail and then a low pony in the back but i'm gonna try something different i'm a, i'm gonna do like a high ponytail with two pieces coming out so we gonna see how that go with this i got a video on um this ponytail so yeah I will show y'all how it starts to look. So this is kind of how it's looking so far. I got to do my edges. Um, but yeah, I actually kind of like it. I'm sure it'll look way better once I do my edges and stuff. But this is not bad. It's very classy, cute. Um, I actually like this. This is just like the rough draft of it right now, but um, gonna fix it up some more. But I look so much fucking better. I'll be back to show you the finished look right before I do my makeup. So I'm gonna actually show y'all the finished look once I finish doing my makeup. But you know what? I was actually not going to do my makeup and I was going to get it done but uh, my boyfriend was like I should be more natural and not have so much makeup on for a void shoot so um, I'm actually doing it because every time I do my makeup it's so much more natural but yeah so I'm going to show y'all how it comes out my hair and my makeup once everything's done but i pretty much finished my hair i'm letting this bake right now let my edges get laid and then we're gonna come back and show you the finished look okay so this is my finished look this is my hair and makeup um like i said i usually do my hair i mean i usually do my makeup very very natural looking um and then my hair this is a new style so we're gonna see how this come on camera i actually like it it's really cute it's giving me like 90s baps um natural 90s baps i really like it um so i'll show y'all my outfit so but yeah this is the finish Oh yeah, and I had got lash extensions. So these are my lashes. Um, these are not uh, strips. My girl Kel did my lashes. Um, so yeah. Okay, y'all. So this is like the finish. Wait, does this turn? Okay, y'all. So this is like the finished look. Um, I actually like it got this cute jean mini skirt with rip uh parts in it and then got this 90s looking windbreaker and this bandeau top hair is cute so yeah it's given 90s it's given artistic but cute it's given sexy screenwriter young vibrant you know all right so let's get to our accessories i just did this little watch here um jean shoes ankle bracelets i didn't do any necklaces or any big hoops just studs uh bracelet or watch um no necklaces he told me to keep it simple whatever so that's it Okay, so we finna go to the first location, which is my guest bedroom. <laughs> it's really empty in here. Um, as you can see, it's really empty in here, but we do plan on turning this into a um, 
photography studio. But we just finna see what we finna get in here. I like the gray um, wall, the gray backdrop. So, location one, it's my guest bedroom. We'll see how this go. Peace. Okay, so we finna go to the second location. Where are we going? Um, 17th Street Bridge. 17th Street Bridge. Second location on the way. Bye. Do the selfies to gas. Just say Okay, so this is our second location right here. And we've literally parked on the side of the street just to get this location. But um it's dope as fuck. This is, look at him grab my ass. This is the third location. Uh, three. So we get in some photos here. Park on the side again. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're going to the crowd shoot tunnel. You see my car in the back. We're going over here. Shoot. And that is it. That is all, folks. That's a wrap on my Voyage ATL photo shoot behind the scenes. Shout out to Aaron Roby for being a dope camera person. And we finna get some food. That's us getting some food at Juicy Crab. That was his first time trying some crab legs, by the way. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.